<laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. What do you make of it? I like it. Yeah, yeah I like the buzz cut. It was different. You know, I wasn't expecting everybody to cut the hair. When, when they came in, I was like, I like it. Are you joining? Are you joining that squad? That squad? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I might actually. I was thinking about it. <laughs> if I get more of the offensive line on board, I'll probably do it. Yeah. Or just how do you feel going into camp? Feel good, you know, ready to get back going. You know, it's been a long off season, just ready to get back going. What are you most excited for going into camp? Uh, really, just getting better. You know, every day I'm with the guys, every day just get, coming in there and just getting better. What do you think? What do you think you can improve the most specifically? Uh, probably my flexibility, getting lower in the run game, being more physical in the run game. What have y'all seen from Darnell and get him getting back healthy and finally being able to kind of be a full strength going into this? Uh, you know, we've seen a lot, you know, um, he's finally back healthy, he's running good, you know, he's catching good, he's helping block, so, you know, all around player, he's getting better every day. Kirby was saying when he got hurt in the spring, he was probably in the best shape he's ever, Kirby's ever seen him in. What does a full strength in shape Darnell Washington bring to this offense? You know, it brings a lot, you know, he, uh, it's another factor to our offense, you know, it's hard to cover him, you know, he's like 6'8", so. Once he's healthy and he's out in space and he can run too, so you know he brings another factor to our offense. What's it like to have a quarterback? Uh, what steps are going into? I think it's 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a, obviously a little different situation than most teams have. What, what's mm -hmm. it like to have a guy with that much experience uh, coming back again for <laughs> for many years he's been here? Uh, it's good, you know, the leadership that he brings to the table. You know, being here for a bunch of years, you know, and then, and then the experience, you know, he's seen a lot of stuff, he's seen, he's taken a lot of reps, so he's seen a lot of stuff and he helps us get in the right stuff when we need him. Were you surprised that he decided to come back? It seemed like last year, I guess everybody after uh, the championship game thought, well, this is the great best way to yeah. go out, you know, but. Uh. You know, shocked, I wasn't shocked, but you know, I was either or, you know, I didn't know for sure if he was coming back or leaving, but I was happy he came back though. So, like, what are your thoughts on having such, like, a diverse um, team in the backfield with the power back in Milton or the receiving back in, um, in, in McIntosh? So, like, with that diversity in the backfield, what, do you, what, what does it look like from your – what he's done on the field? I mean, it's, it's still the same, you know, because you look back last year, we had Cook and Zeus, you know, it's kind of almost – I don't want to say almost the same, but, it's, you know, it's almost the same. You know, we got Cook who can get out in the open and catch the ball, and you got Zeus who's going to be a power blocker on third down, so. You know, it's kind of the same. Yeah. What have you seen from Broderick just getting ready for camp and knowing that he's going to be stepping into a bigger room? Uh, Broderick, you know, he's definitely stepped up big time. You know, he's locked in. He's coming in every day, giving everything he's got, you know, just getting better every day. Do you think it matters who starts at guard, given you guys have so many options there? Um, does it matter? I don't think it matters, especially whoever, like all five of us, you know, because we're all getting reps and we're all in practice. So, and we're, you know, we trust that our 2D, 3D can step in if they need to and play. Are there guys that you feel more comfortable with, given, you know, you played next to Warren Harrison for, I think, 14 games last year, you played a little bit next to take to start the season. Are there guys you feel more comfortable with, you know, in terms of passing off double teams, knowing protections, calling things out? Uh, you know, I feel comfortable with all the guards. You know, we take different reps with different people every day in practice. So, that's just, you know, the nature of it. You know, it's pretty comfortable. You know? How much of a luxury is that when you've got four, four five, six guys that any combination of them slide into guard? Like you said, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, it's good. You know, um, that's the whole thing. You know, us being deep right now and everybody taking reps, you know, we all comfortable playing with each other. How What's valuable your is this camp to kind of build on that, get, getting even more confidence, you know, if you guys move guys around? Oh, yeah, this it's camp is definitely a huge, you know, confidence boost, you know, going into the season, just getting everybody back into the football shape, football mind, and getting ready to go play. What's your take on Ernest Green so far? Ernest, you know, he's young. He's coming in every day. He's giving it his all. He's coming in to learn, too, so, and he's going to be a good player. Um, you know, Ernest, he's just one of them guys that's going to come in, and he's going to work hard every day. He asks a bunch of questions, and he's just trying to improve his game. How do you keep the hunger and you want to I mean, you know, reach the size you can go. How do you keep that coming back into a, a year after that? You know, that's in the past, you know, and now we're looking for, uh, in the future. And so you can't, you know, keep thinking about the past and you're going to get left. So we're just worried about what's next and just getting better every day. What are your, what are your thoughts on kind of how Reek has grown so far? You know, Reek, he's uh, come, came back strong, you know, I saw him in the spring game and the offseason, he stepped up, you know, conditional-wise, you know, 
buying in and trying to do everything he can to improve his game. So he looks good. What have you seen from Amarius since he came back to the team, and, yeah. and you know, as he's looking to push for playing time? What have you seen from him this summer? Kirby said that he's you know finally healthy. Oh yeah, he's finally healthy. You know. He's uh, coming in, working hard every day. He's asking questions. You know, he's trying to get better every day. You can see that he's like completely bought in now. So he's doing pretty well. What does that look like for you, though, as somebody who's you know, maybe above him on the depth chart? Does he come to you asking questions? Is he asking Coach Searles questions? Yeah, it's both. You know, sometimes he'll come to me, ask me questions. And sometimes he'll go to Coach Searles. You know, just help him out wherever I can. How is Tate look coming off that foot injury? He's looking better, you know, he's getting better day by day. He's getting healthy, you know, he has to get back in shape. And so he's looking he's looking better day by day. What's it been like getting to know Coach Searles a little bit more? You know, we talked to you in the spring. Mm -hmm. Have a little bit more time around him now. What's yeah, like? I like Coach Searles. You know, he's uh, always has a smile on his face. He's always going to crack a joke with you, too. He's not always – he's he's serious, but he's not always serious. You know, he's going to crack a joke here and there, you know, break the ice and all that. What's the biggest difference between just the way he goes about his business compared to Coach Luke? Uh, you know, they both go about their business probably the same way. They're here to win and get us better. But, you know, just probably just terminology, stuff like that, just switching it up a little bit, learning our playbook and stuff like that. Or I guess there's probably going to be a lot of talk about Oregon in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I want to ask you about Mississippi State. You guys are playing later in the season. You probably started against them, I guess, in 2020. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember much about you know the, the kind of team that they are and much about that game? Uh, that's, that's a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was that was JT's first start, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys won by like eight or something? Maybe, something like yeah, I remember he threw he threw a ball by that game, right? Four hundred or something. Probably, that's probably all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we wore black jerseys. Oh yeah, that's we did wear our black jerseys. <laughs> Those um, are nice. Kirby was saying earlier that Smile London is, is one of the best athletes he's seen. Mm -hmm. I wonder, from a lineman's perspective, how much you see that in workouts and in practice, that kind of stuff. And what does he bring that linebacker? Oh yeah, he's flying around. You know, he's he's fast. He's physical. You know, he's he's getting better. You know, uh, just reps and stuff in practice, he'll get better every day. How some of the Zerg guys like Austin Blask and Michael Morris kind of fit in, in their role in the last couple of years and how they're progressing? Mm -hmm. How are guys like Austin Blask and Michael Morris, some of these reserve guys that are, you know, not in these combinations, uh, mm -hmm. kind of filling their roles and progressing over the last couple of years? You know, um, they've still been buying in, you know, coming in every day trying to get better. You know, it, it shows, you know, they've been getting reps uh, in the twos and stuff. So. Yeah, they're getting better day by day. So let's first, take two more questions. You two more. First team preseason all SEC. That mean anything to you? Not recognition? Uh, not really. You know, I'm I'm grateful for it, but you know, I'm here, you know, to win. You know. So, so like, what kind of luxury does it have from a line perspective to have such a deep tight end room? Uh, it is nice. You know, you get different blockers, different aspects. So like, if I'm playing with Darnell, I know I can do this. If I'm playing with Brock, I know I can do this. And, you know, it's, it's nice. Okay, thank you, Warren. Thank you, Warren. Thank you. Thank you.